What's up, ninjas? Here we are, week two for Ultimate Ninja Chicago's Weekend League. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Our first obstacle is the trampoline jump. You guys are starting on the screen pad. You're gonna run and jump and hit the trampoline. Your goal is to land between one of these three lines. If you land in front of the first line, that's gonna be one point. Behind the second line, that's two. Just past the second line is three, and onto the green pad is four. Now, if you jump forward and keep continuing on, you're only gonna get points for the piece of tape that you land in. If you land in front of one and fall backwards, you will earn the point for the one behind you. You can land on your feet, on your butt, whatever you need to to get past that line to earn your points, and that will be the completion of this obstacle. And next up is obstacle two, the rock wall rings. You guys are going to start on the red pad here. You're gonna climb up the wall until you can reach the first ring. Once you grab the ring, your hands are not allowed to touch any other holes. Your feet can touch whatever you want, but your hands can only touch the rings or the holes. Your first point is gonna come when you can touch the second ring. You can grab it, you can hit it, you can kick it with your foot, Whatever you do to touch it, and that's your first point. Your second point is going to come when you can touch the third, the second cone. First cone. That's going to be your second point. Your third point is going to come when you can dismount onto the green pad. Again, hands only on the holds on the wall. Your feet can be anywhere on the rock holds, on the wall, whatever you need to do to get to the end of the platform. Obstacle three is the Wave Runner. Competitors are going to run up onto the mat. They can use the black box or just the red pad to jump up to the Wave Runner. Your first point is going to be when you can pass this first line. That's one point. Your second point comes when you can touch the green Wave Runner. Your third point comes when you get past this third line. And your fourth point comes when you dismount onto the platform. This is a hands-only obstacle, so you cannot wrap your legs or feet around the weight runners. So just hands only to get from the start platform to the finish platform. You may use only one side of the weight runner. The first one is locked. You can shimmy on down, touch it, and that's two points. But the second one is free spinning. So you will have to grab both sides in order to complete this obstacle. Obstacle four is the spinners and stones. Competitors are gonna start on the green starting platform using the spinning logs and the gumballs to get from the start platform to the end platform. You may not at any point step onto the blue boxes. You can only use the green logs to work your way across. Your first point comes when you touch the second log. Your second point comes when you touch the first gumball. Your third point comes when you touch the third gumball. And your fourth point comes you land on the landing platform. Hands are allowed if you need to save yourself. If you fall, you slip, and you catch yourself here, and your feet don't touch the ground. In this position, you're okay to continue on and finish the obstacle. But if your foot does tap, that's where the obstacle ends, and you'll move on to the next obstacle. The next obstacle, obstacle five, is the peg floor. Come on this way. Um, you will earn your first point when you touch the red ball. This one right here. It'll be in the same spot every single time. All you have to do is touch it. You don't have to control it. You can touch and fall. You still earn that point. Your second point comes when you touch the last PVC. And your third point comes when you land on the red pad. Again, if you're falling somehow and you save yourself with your hand, that's okay, but you have to stand back up and continue. Um, you may not step on the wooden boards at all. You can only utilize the PVCs and the peg bombs in the holes to get from the start platform to the end platform. Up next, we have the unstable holes, obstacle six. Your first point is gonna come when you can touch the black ring. You may grab the rope, you may pull it back to you, you may take multiple swings, you can stand on the knots, whatever you need to do to touch the first ring. Your second point comes when you can touch the red snow cone. 
The third point comes when you can touch the blue nunchuck. And your fourth point comes when you dismount onto the platform. You cannot fall over, you cannot fall past, you must control your landing on the platform. Immediately after that, obstacle seven, the cliffhanger. Competitors are going to start on the red pad. You may utilize the ring or go straight to the cliffhanger. The blue holds are on as well. Your first point is going to come when you can touch the first ring. Your second point is going to come when you can touch the second green cliffhanger. The third point is going to come when you can touch the blue nunchuck. And your fourth point is going to come when you can grab onto the fourth, the third cliffhanger. And your fifth point is going to come when you land on the dismount platform here. Now, you can use this ring to swing out as far as you want. You can reach the very end. You can do that. You don't have to only use the green. You can put your hand on the green and go up to the blue and shimmy across. Whatever you need to do to touch that ring. And that's what gives you the first point. That obstacle ends on this black map. Up next is the rope launch. Competitors are going to start on the black box. You're going to reach out and grab the rope. Your goal is to land on this pad. Now, you can get a maximum of three points. Landing before the green pad is one point. Landing on the green pad is two. And landing past is three. You can put your hands and your feet on the rope. If, for some reason, you get a bad swing, you can reset on the block and try again. Again, same as the first obstacle. If you land on the second pad and fall backwards, you will earn the points for the landing platform behind you. Again, this obstacle is worth a maximum of three points, and hands and feet are allowed. And finally, we have the work wall. Competitors are going to choose whichever wall they would like. The eight foot wall, our first wall is worth one point. The second wall is worth two. This third bar is worth three. And the top one is worth four points. Now, if you run up the first wall, you're going to touch the buzzer on the left. If you run up the second wall, you're going to touch this tape box at the, on, the, on the wall. Same for the third bar. If you get up the third wall, touching the same box. And if you get up the 14 foot, you're touching the buzzer on the top. Now, if you're going for the 14, you cannot utilize this bar at all. So, that means only hands on it. You cannot start here and reach up. You cannot get on top and stand on it. You must only use the 14 foot wall to get up to the top. Once you hit the buzzer, your time will stop. You guys have two minutes and 45 seconds to complete this course. So, week two, let's see what you guys got.